Hey guys, I'm Isia and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be upgrading our Frankenstein of a reactor over there. A, you could say an improper design. And we're going to be upgrading it to essentially a bigger one that actually works how it's actually supposed to work, I should say. So the first thing we need to make is a, a heat exchanger, which is four cooling fins, two pieces of gold, an impeller, and two liquid pipes. Okay, and the impeller goes in the center. Gold on either side, cooling fins in the corners, and the wicker pipes on the bottom and the top it gets us our heat exchanger. And so what this does is it takes in hot carbon dioxide gas, um, it pumps out carbon dioxide gas, which is cold, but it transfers the uh, the heat from the gas into the surrounding blocks beside it, which in our case is going to be a uh, uh, steam boilers. So we're going to need to um, have another set of steam balls. I've already made one, but this will we'll need to make. Uh, you need to make six um, if you've already got one. So seven. So that's one on each side, except for one side. Uh, one side's used for pumping the gas out. So essentially, seven steam balls you need for a simple setup. And for the reactor, you're gonna need to make some more carbon dioxide heat exchangers. So I'm going with a 20 carbon dioxide heat there setup. And I'm going with 12 cores. I've already got one core, so I'm good at that. Uh, the other thing is you're gonna need to have some more gas ducts, uh, some more liquid ducts, of course. Uh, you need a, a bevel because this heat exchange accepts power from below it. And of course, uh, I'm gonna use some stored energy to operate that. Uh, you may wanna make some concrete. Uh, it's not necessary. However, I do use the concrete as an installation uh, insulation factor which uh, to make it you just need sand clay and water and you get uh, concrete so that's pretty easy so let's just grab the extra stuff and of course you're gonna need a trusso fuel pellets too so quite a lot okay let's grab all this stuff let's grab as much fuel as possible okay excellent all right so I'm just gonna leave this one running while we're doing everything and I'm gonna take the actually door. Yeah, I need to take the steam door off because that's not supposed to go there. Okay. There we go. Of course, I haven't got. No, I'm gonna chuck this lever. Actually, I need that lever. Mmm. Do do. What do I want with? Ah, wood. You can go. There we go. Bring that down. I'm gonna leave the carbon dioxide heat exchanger there. Uh, I'm gonna equip this gas pipe for a bit. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the the cores in first. Okay, so which direction should I go? This direction, yep. And one to the side. Okay, that, 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 that. Now this isn't the. Uh, Design you may want to go with. Uh, hmm, I don't need another. F oh no, I was going to go with this design anyway. That's all right. Oh, I was thinking about going. Think about going uh, four here, four there, four four, and having actually a sixteen one, but I guess not. Um, so, which I probably mean I've made more carbon dioxide changes than I need. Anyway, so I'm going to run the carbon dioxide around the outside. The exchanges, I mean. Okay, doop, 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 doop. This, 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 and this. Yeah, I made two more than I needed. Okay, uh, you can stack these cores on top of one another, and the fuel will go from the top to the bottom. So it is a multi block item. Um, but what I found out is what well, these blocks they, they radiate heat on all sides, right? So the more sides on the outside you have facing towards air, the more uh, temperature, more heat that gets lost due to uh, heat transference. So if you make it taller, you're gonna need to put more carbon dioxide heat exchangers on the outside and you'll have more block faces, um, which means more heat loss. So I think the single level is probably the most efficient one. However, the issue is, uh, if you're making a big setup, these cores in the middle will get the hottest, and if they get up to about 1800 degrees, they'll 
melt, which isn't good. Um, so they should get up to about 1200 normally. Okay, so once we've got all that, we need to then supply these carbon dioxide heat exchangers uh, with our gas ducts like that. Make sure you build this um, the reactor off from the ground so you can work underneath it. Um, I should also mention that if you haven't, I would update to version 19b because a lot of uh, the ducting and piping errors that I've got in the past have actually been fixed and which made okay this is not enough gas in there uh, made actually doing this quite irritating okay so once we've got uh, carbon dioxide gas going to the bottom they should be filling up uh, that won't be because I've got a bit more coal and stuff in there uh, I've got coal over somewhere uh, here. Let's see if I've got some wood spare. Uh, no. Hmm. Coal, wood. Uh, I'll just burn coal for the time being. Okay. It's enough stone. Hit coal up just to make some more carbon dioxide go gas go in there. Okay and we'll continue on so then what you want to do is you want to run gas ducts along the tops of your carbon dioxide um, pipes remember these blocks are also uh, multi-block so if you have them stacked the gas will travel through both or however how many blocks you have and okay so now we've got those in place what you want to do is you want to let's say we're going to do it right here yep run your gas pipe off make sure it doesn't touch this one Okay, and actually, I want to go there, there, there. And we'll put a heat exchange here. Uh, okay, heat exchange there. As you can see, green for input. So we're going to chuck a bevel there. Output is blue. Um, yeah, let's do the, the coil of this direction. Okay. Gonna set it to 512 rads, which is the minimum speed, and 16 newt meters, which is the minimum torque required for this machine. Um, it'll build up a little bit of temperature just to. Uh, I forgot what the kind of temperature is called. Um, I'm just gonna call it room temperature, even though we're on the outside. Ambient temperature. It's gonna go up to ambient temperature first. Okay, and then what you wanna do is you wanna get your steam boilers, place them on the outside, leaving one side free. Okay, like that, and what you want to do is you want to run, let's go, break these apart, you want to run water into the bottom of them, uh, if you, mind you, if you, if these things run out of water and then they get too hot, they explode, so um, try and make sure you've got a steady supply of water, last time I didn't and one of them did actually explode, not good, and then from Actually, hmm, no, don't like the idea of that. Okay, uh, some Gumby in a truck just doing wheelies or something. Uh, skids, whatever the word is, not that one. Over here. Uh, have I got a fluid pipe somewhere? Fluid duct. Item duct. I swear I had fluid duct somewhere. Uh, ch -ch 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 Dumpty dumpty dumpty. Why don't I have any? Uh, item duct. Okay, I'm gonna have to go cheaper, I guess. Um, no, actually, no, I, I can use this gas duct for that. As uh, I don't think these steam pipe, these ex I don't know. these won't. Ex uh, extract any things out the side so we're okay and then what you want to do is you want to run the pipe back underneath so you're essentially um, refeeding the gas back into the system and it's 164 so it's where we're getting a little bit of gas that's all right and then what you want to do is you want to get your steam lines do I have more steam lines 
I should have more steam wine somewhere. Uh, steam wine, steam wine. <coughs> That's really not enough. Hopefully it's enough. I want that cheap mate on. No. Did those things just disappear? Okay, let's hope I've got enough. Okay, there. me just like there's this one away um, doop, 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 doop. how you've made again I forgot uh, steam that's wool and liquid pipes I've got wool somewhere and there yes I do and I've got liquid pipes which is good okay liquid pipe, liquid pipe, liquid pipe. And steam. There we go. And then you want to connect up the steam pipes to the top. Okay, so this is essentially what the system is supposed to do. So when you put fuel in the bottom, they'll heat up. They'll uh, output heat to, this, heat to the side and above them. So these will heat up, and when they get up to about uh, peak over 800 degrees. Uh, this carbon dioxide gas will be turned into hot carbon dioxide gas. The hot carbon dioxide gas will go into the heat exchanger. This will power the heat exchanger temporarily. Uh, and the heat from that will go into our boilers and that will turn into steam and turn our turbine. Which is what we want. But before we want to do that, we want to get our, not stone, I had concrete for this. You can use other blocks as an insulator. However, I'm using concrete because one, it's Part of reactor craft and I'm assuming it might it might be part of the mechanism of the mod and it might be in part of the mechanism of the mod later on so what you want to do is you want to uh, seal these sides here that are, uh, got air touching them you want to block off them okay and even the corners as well the idea is that those those bits are where heat can be lost all right uh, do, do, do. I'm not quite sure about this mechanism however I like to do it it makes a reactor look a little bit more realistic and who knows it might be implemented in the future or not I don't know in any case uh, if your cores do overheat they will turn into lava and the concrete will stop the lava from burning your whole place down which is a pretty nice idea Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to start filling those cores up with fuel. Okay. I bet that a uh, 19B upgrade as well. Uh, they've also added uh, a lot of stuff to the whale, which you see at the top where it says temperature one something, uh, which makes this job a lot more easier. Don't have to use the tool so much. Okay. There we go. Should have enough to fuel all them. Oh, with that empty stuff in there as well. The other reason why I'm doing a just a, a single level one is because you can pull uh, the depleted stuff out from the top. Later on, you can replace the uh, concrete underneath with uh, I don't know hoppers or conduit pipes for automatic pulling out items if you want. Okay, so as you can see, we've got temperature of 300 degrees. What time is it? Is it Coming up daytime, so it should get hotter. But as you can see, um, we've got these uh, bits where the air is touching it. Okay, so you want to close off this as well. Now, I'm not quite sure if these are insulating it by as the mechanic mechanics of the game, or whether or not it's sensing that it can see light, which means it's uninsulated. But as you can see, if you do stop, if you have the top at least covered, 
you do get a temperature boost, so we're going up to about 600 now. 750, okay, so I'm just going to assume that's going to go up hard, hard enough. Okay, have we got anything burning in there? No. Uh, can we burn wood? Can we burn wood? We cannot burn wood. Uh, burn bread? No. What can we burn? Okay, okay, we can burn stone again to make something. That should give us a little bit more gas. Oh, as you can see, we're already getting uh, a hot carbon dioxide gas at the top. And if we go down to the bottom, we can see, can, can we? No, we can't. Oh, we can't, we, can, we can't look at that temperature gauge yet. Anyway, let's just hope that it's getting hot enough. Did I? I threw that lever away, didn't I? By accident. One stone, another piece of wood, yep. Okie dokie. You can use um, uh, fluid ducts if you want for this as well. Okay. So that's 512 rads, minimum speed, and minimum torque of 16. And there we go, we are producing steam. Excellent, excellent. So 40 million watts. Um, I have seen this thing go up to about 900 million watts. Um, but I'm not, I don't think it should go up to, well, I don't think it's supposed to go up to 900 million watts, but I do know it will. I think it might be a bit of a glitch. However, we can see we've already got 270, 290. 300 that's pretty decent so you don't need to have these things completely full of carbon dioxide gas they do need to have some carbon dioxide gas in there if they ever get empty the uh, the heat from the cores doesn't get transferred into the gas therefore the heat stays inside the cores and then the cores melt so what temperature we getting there at? Uh, 800 so we should go at close to 900 and it's going to get there. Yeah, there we go. So that's how you build a proper high temperature gas reactor. Um, I believe. I may have stuffed up a little bit. How much water we got in there? Oh, uh, we're getting water. Ooh. That's not good. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, cool down. I don't want you to explode. Alright, that, that's a perfect example. Um, when these things uh, start running out of water, they lose a lot. Uh, no, when they run out of water, they, they start getting a lot hotter, and then they explode. Um, now, if these things are about, about 99 degrees, 100 degrees, right, uh, 96 degrees, um, you know that they're actually working because the heat is actually being transferred into steam. Now, if they get up to about, like you said there, eh, they could have exploded. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to uh, increase the amount of water going into them. Uh, and then hopefully I will have this thing working. But um, if that happens, pump more water in. Okay, you need more water. <laughs> more water. Okay. So I think that's about it for today guys, uh, if you like it please like it, if you've got any suggestions, uh, any questions about the, the reactor design let me know, uh, any suggestions if you want me to try and build a, a bigger one or even a small one. Um, as for small ones, um, I have made one with only four cores, however from talking with uh, uh, Raker himself uh, it seems that 12 is probably the minimum you want. Um, or I think might actually be glitching out and will probably be patched out so if you don't want to uh, I I'd just go with 12 to begin with 12 will give you uh, a sufficient amount of power anyway and you won't have to go rebuilding your reactor when a patch comes out so yeah, yeah I think that's a bit today guys uh, until next time nah.